Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. It's the Weather Extreme video for Friday evening, March 1st. I'm back. Thanks to Brian for covering this morning. Been a very busy week here with so much happening as we're getting set to cruise into our tornado season. But hey, no tornadoes when it's this cold. In fact, we've got snow showers to worry about. Let's go in there and take a look at some of the Skycam shots around the network this afternoon. Cloudy and cold. Temperatures uh, way below the values you know, spit out by these computer models. They're really struggling with this cold pattern. That's the uh, Inverness Skycam. A uh, very similar sky coming from Chiha State Park, and off in the distance, that is a controlled burn over the Talladega National Forest. And in northwest Alabama, that's a sky cam at uh, Hamilton and Marion County. Had a few snow flurries reported in scattered pockets over the northern states over the last few hours, or the northern counties over the last few hours. Boy, it's a cold trough digging down over the eastern United States. And it is cold indeed. Look at Coleman, 35. Now, you know, we ought to be at 60, so that's 25 degrees below average for the 1st of March for them. That's pretty remarkable. Uh, Birmingham only at 43, and, and we're not going to do any better tomorrow. In fact, tomorrow should be colder than today, and it should be windier than today. And around the nation, it's just cold over much of the east. Uh, the good news, the west is starting to warm up a bit. Uh, Phoenix could see low 80s over the weekend, but around here, just cold and on top of the cold, guess what? We had an earthquake this morning uh, at 1053 in Walker County, just west of Cordova. And that's only a 2.7. That's very small. A lot of people won't even notice that, but uh, just something else on the plate today. On the watch warning map, we've got winter weather advisories for parts of the Cumberland Plateau up in Tennessee. And this was just issued as I was doing the uh, graphics here by the Weather Service in Atlanta. The county's in purple, north of Atlanta. That is a winter weather advisory for tonight and tomorrow. Uh, the Weather Service offices in Alabama have not made a decision on what they're going to do, and I'm not so sure we need an advisory for this in that uh, the accumulation should be fairly light and mostly on the uh, grassy areas. Uh, there's the precipitation for the next five days. This carries us through Wednesday morning of next week, and this is showing amounts of about a quarter to one half inch. And of course, the, the, you know, the snow showers will be very light tonight, and tomorrow. Uh, now, Tuesday of next week, we do expect rain, but a big rain event not expected with that. Let's get in there and dig deep. Let's look at computer modeling. This is the uh, GFS, the 12Z run, valid at noon tomorrow. There's the eastern trough. Down below that, snow, <laughs> excuse me, snow showers, windy and cold. We'll struggle to get out of the 30s, much like today. The uh, uh, statistical products coming off the models are just way too warm. <laughs> we'll take a look at the uh, high-resolution uh, RPM. This is valid at 3 a.m. All right, this is uh, middle of the night tonight, and that's a pretty good coverage of snow there over the uh, northern third of the state. So uh, uh, that's when it should begin, that the window opens up at about midnight tonight. This 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, the snow showers are scattered, and they're seen over about the northern half of the state, and they'll be spotty. It's not going to snow everywhere at any given time, but uh, th these are convective snow showers, meaning that you know they could be briefly heavy, and they can make the ground white pretty quickly. Uh, some of the grassy areas might see a half inch on the high end, maybe one inch across high terrain of northeast Alabama, but temperatures will be near freezing early. So, you know, if you're driving at 4, 5, 6 in the morning and it's 30 or 31 and it's snowing, just be aware there could be an icy spot or two. But during the day, uh, we should reach the upper 30s. And this is 6 o'clock, uh, still snow showers showing up there, but they should be over by probably 9 o'clock tomorrow night. And it's just going to be cold. This is the snow accumulation coming off the RPM. And uh, it's got, uh, you know, a dusting over North Alabama like we've talked about. The better, uh, obviously, numbers will be in the Great Smokies up there in East Tennessee and uh, parts of western North Carolina. Sunday. Sunday morning is going to be cold. We'll be well down in the 20s. Uh, the high in the mid to upper 40s. The sun will be out. That's the good thing. That'll take a little edge off the cold air. And then Monday, we uh, start to warm up. We might see low 60s in advance of that new storm off to the west. And then Tuesday, look at that. That's a very dynamic uh, shortwave coming in here uh, down around Memphis. And down below that, the surface low is near Knoxville, Tennessee. And that's got a batch of showers coming through late Monday night and Tuesday morning. And yeah, look at the thickness values dropping behind that thing. We'll go out there six more hours. This is Tuesday evening at 6 o'clock. Uh, the surface low is uh, around Greenville, South Carolina. Some evidence we could see some light snow on the backside of the departing system. 
Um, again, I don't think we have any big accumulation issues, but just uh, certainly it'll be conversational snow, if you will, if we get that. Uh, we'll check the European. This is valid Tuesday night. Pretty similar, not quite as cold as the uh, uh, GFS, some hint of snow flurries mainly over the Tennessee Valley. So rain showers during the day Tuesday, a chance of light snow, snow flurries or snow showers Tuesday night. We don't think we'll have any accumulation there. And then Wednesday we go dry, but ooh, buddy, look at that bomberino uh, sitting here off the Atlantic coast. A lot of people are doing an analog to the Ash Wednesday storm of 1962. And I think it's way too early to do that, but uh, who knows? I mean, there's some similarities, but that could bring well, that that could bust the snow drought in Washington D.C. I'll put it that way if this verifies. But it's very early in the game, and uh, if you've got uh, friends or relatives in D.C. or Baltimore, uh, you'll hear a lot of you know talk about it. But it's just too early to make the call. But certainly something to watch. Thursday, that thing just sits there. I mean, it's it's having a hard time moving north because of a block, so uh, it could be a two-day event there on the middle Atlantic coast. But we're dry, and we start to warm up. We should be close to 60, and then a week from today, hey, how about mid-60s? Doesn't that sound good? Let's go out there a little deeper in the month. This is the 12th of March, strong upper low over Arkansas, and that looks very wet and maybe stormy if that's right. And on the 17th, uh, big surface low over Kansas. That looks kind of stormy for Texas and Oklahoma. And uh, that might ultimately bring some active weather. This is tornado season, so we'll keep an eye on that. But that is it for the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. Thanks for watching. Uh, my next video will be Monday morning at 7 a.m. Brian Peters, the man that looks like Colonel Sanders. We'll have the updates tomorrow and Sunday. If you can, catch us on the uh, live stream or the television site on ABC 3340 at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock this evening. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and God bless. Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? <laughs> She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day.